Installation of bulk liner model F20 PS6043PN with built-in fluidizer. The bulk liner comes with two pull-up belts for the bulkhead steel bar, two belt suspenders for the bulkhead steel bars, and two securing strap belts for the bottom bulkhead steel bar. Unroll and unfold the bulk liner on a container floor. The floor must be clean of debris and sharp objects. Once fully extended over the floor, uncover the floor panel to expose the built-in floor sleeve. Insert and position the steel bar as shown in the video. Make sure the sleeves are well expanded over the steel bar. Proceed with the hanging of the bulk liner by taking the elastic carabine hook on the vertical seam of the bulk liner and hook it into the highest welded steel bar on the corner post of the container. Then take the other elastic carabine hook and lash it to one of the top container rings as shown in the video. Repeat procedure on the other corner of the container. Proceed to take the pull-up belts and hang them on the steel bar channel of the container at the highest welded bar. If welded bar not available, use the container ring on this top corner of the container. Once the pull-up belts are hung, proceed to take another steel bar and slide it into the top bulkhead sleeve as shown in the video. Hang the inserted top bulkhead steel bar into the previously hung pull-up straps as shown in the video. At this point, for an easier installation, we recommend that you pre-inflate the liner with a portable blower as shown in the video. Proceed now to raise the top bulkhead steel bar with the pull-up belts as shown in the video. Raise the top bulkhead steel bar to 171 cm, measure from the floor of the container to the bottom side of the steel bar. This height is very important for the correct performance of the bulk liner. Make sure the bulkhead is well expanded over the length of the steel bar. Proceed now to hang the rest of the bulkhead using the elastic carabine hooks for the corners and the top elastic core on top of the bulkhead as shown in the video. Finalize securing the top bulkhead steel bar by making a tie knot as shown in the video. Now proceed to put the suspending steel bar belts as shown in the video. Make sure you use the longest loop in the suspending bar belt to wrap it around the top bulkhead steel bar. Notice that one suspending bar belt has stitch loops and the other one velcro loops. Now proceed to insert the rest of the steel bars in the suspending belts as shown in the video. Start with the steel bar second from the top.
till bar from the top. And insert bottom steel bar. Finally, use the short straps to secure the bottom steel bar as shown in the video. Repeat on the other side. Now the liner is installed and ready to be loaded. Notice the blue pneumatic fluidizing tubes to be used during the discharge. This is an example of a liner properly installed and loaded.